Hello everyone, welcome to the first of hopefully a number of videos that I upload to this channel. I expect most of these to be focused on gameplay, but today I'm going to be comparing the emulation of the Neo Geo on three different systems. The first that we have is the Neo Geo Mini, which is a software emulation device that was officially released by SNK. Um, it has its flaws, but if nothing else, it looks amazing sat on the desk. We also have the DE10 Nano, which is an FPGA board more commonly known as the Mister. Now, FPGA is often referred to as hardware emulation, and I'm not going to go into those details here, well beyond the scope of this video, but it's exciting technology, and if you want to read some more about that, then there'll be a link in the description below this video. Rounding out the three pieces of hardware is the Raspberry Pi 4, running on the ever-popular RetroPie. Now, I'll take a back seat for now, and we'll start by launching a game, letting the ROM load up, and run through the Attract mode. I've edited these videos, so that they all stop on the very last frame before the screen turns black, just before the high scores appear on screen. It'll give us an accurate timing of how long it takes to load the ROM and play through the sequence.
Okay, so as you can see, um, the Neo Geo Mini was the slowest of the three, but that was at least partly due to the fact that the UI requires an input in order to specify the BIOS. If I'd mashed the start button, then the Mini would have finished just ahead of the Raspberry Pi, in fact. Of course, this doesn't really tell the whole story, so I'm going to show some side-by-side -side footage of the consoles playing different games. And all of this footage is recorded using the same hardware, with the exception of the consoles, of course, and the HDMI cables, since rather awkwardly all three of the devices use different HDMI connectors.
though in my opinion, these three devices handle the Neo Geo games nearly identically. They range in price from £70 up to £200, and they vary wildly in how customizable they are, how easy they are to use, and how nice they are to leave out on display. But most of that's beyond the scope of this video. If you only want to play Neo Geo games, then the Neo Geo Mini is my recommendation. You'll have to look past some of its flaws, namely the HDMI output and the poor controller layout, but in return, you get a device with a functioning screen for around half the cost of the other systems. Now, if you do want more customization, if you want to play games that are not Neo Geo, then the Pi might be the right choice for you. You'd either have to use one controller for all systems or deal with multiple different config files. The Mister would be my recommendation if you want to sacrifice some of that customization, better performance, or if you want to be able to use different controllers on different systems without dealing with that config file mess. Now, despite all of this, all three systems offer superb value for money, and they all cater to slightly different markets. You actually probably knew which, which one of them you wanted before you started this video. But anyway, thank you for watching, and keep an eye out for more content from me posted here soon.